Mm. Well, Mike, mm. would you like to move something? I know, certainly. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm a Nigerian, I'm an African person. But the point there is people, people go through different kind of situation and circumstance that make Indeed. them think and reason that way. And, and you wouldn't blame anyone for... Look, on the other Seeking. hand... And a human being is a world citizen now. The be world is becoming a global, a global village, village now, so you can be anywhere. Some people call it a global bed. <laughs> <laughs> Moving ahead now, looking good is good business, like they say. And women take their time to take care of their hair and their nails. And men, like you, Mike, are not even left out of the fray. Many salons are cashing in on this to make brisk businesses. Men's grooming over the years has evolved beyond shaving the head and trimming extra facial hair. The trend for facial hair is making many barber shops open up. The male grooming market is almost at par with grooming products for women. This boom is driven by a desire to look good and an obsession with social media. With the bed gang frenzy, men spend a lot of time having their beds done. At this salon, the air is rich with the scents of argan, tea tree, almond and eucalyptus oils. Jeffrey Okwalike is mixing up a fresh batch of the secret blend of essential oils to make up the best seller in his cosmetics line, Beard and Water. In Nigeria, what I know is that so many people need beard grooming products, especially oils or balms. Uh, a lot of Nigerian guys have beards that are quite like, you know, they call it rice and beans. You know, it has patches on the side and then, you know, you try to comb it and you're crying. You're like, ah, ah, it's hard to comb. So they don't really know that there are products out there within Nigeria that they can use to solve their, you know, male hair conundrums. Actually, yeah, it's just like fashion also. It's just like fashion because sometimes people can use it to describe you that, ah, do you know that guy has a beer? And some ladies like it a lot, you know. Whenever they're around you, they'll be like playing with it, touching it. So I really like it. Okpaliki started growing a beard in 2012 in keeping with the global trend. He found that hair products were almost exclusively targeted at women. It's not just beards, manicures, pedicures, haircuts, skin lotions, glooms, and men's fashion are all experiencing a boom. We are quite open and ready for this this market. It's uh, it's a market that emerged out of nowhere. Within the past four or five years, it's 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 blown. The global male grooming product market is expected to reach seventy six billion US dollars by twenty twenty three, from fifty eight billion dollars in twenty seventeen. All right, the trends are changing now. CEO for Last Place Salon Services and for Last Place Logistics, Fola Jimmy Adigboega joins me in the studio now. Fola, good morning. Morning, Nice Mr. to Mike. see you. Nice to meet you. Now, I remember sometime when, uh, you know, people would liken themselves to John the Baptist because uh, they need to shave now and all of that. But those days in the medieval time, and we got into like having a clean shave and nice seem like we're going back again to how things are. What is it about the beards in the first place? Uh, one thing is um, we have to go back to why men want to keep beard in the first place. Yes. And it has to do with um, evolution. Studies have shown that way back in the industrial age, mm. um, having a beard is, is, is a factor that says you are um, uh, mature, you're older, you're strong. Oh. Because way back then... That's the masculine thing. Yes, eh? because way back then, <laughs> the, 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 the men in the city, they have less women. to. Uh, so the, in order to compete for the women, you have to grow a beard. So mm. it shows that you're strong because women way back then, they were moved to men with beards. Mm. So People who are mature, who they feel yeah, can yeah, take care of them. Feel, yes. But the point there is, as it is right now, the, the beards guys and men are keeping, is it? Is it really just about the ladies? Uh, no. Uh -huh. That's, one, that's one, one thing that many people don't know. Men like to be, um, to be dominant wherever they are. So it is a sign of like, oh, I'm strong, I'm super strong, I'm a man. To show that, oh, I'm here, presence. So that's what it's all about. But sometimes for fashion, not for the women, for fashion. So, but women are moved by what they see. So when a guy who, who is well-groomed, has beard well-groomed, Women will be attracted to him, but not because uh, of the women, because uh, of fashion. Are the ladies really attracted to the beard thing? 
women and this, are you you would you you have interacted with these people uh, certainly yeah the w women are, 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 are funny creatures in, in a sense no because they wouldn't accept that no no they not, accept no, that. no, no not use the word funny no. <laughs> why, why is it funny is that they are moved by what they see so when they see a well-groomed man with, with good beards they're like oh they're attracted to him but he is doing it for himself and not our fashion not for the women so when the uh, um, over time they find out so, so women like the beard on them so they feel like oh i can do this to impress my woman but it's not basically because of the women so so women are not necessarily moved by it is that what he said no women are they some, like it some some not not, not talking about some women like clean shaven men so why some like men with beards all right now t talk to us <coughs> about the, the the concept of grooming i said you, you see some well-groomed you know facial hair but others are certainly not it at all talk about what does it take to groom facial hair appropriately? one 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 you have to have hair you have to have facial hair in the first okay. place now uh the process is um simple you have to um get um uh, textur texturize the hair like once every two or three weeks get your hair waxed your your um uh, beard oil that, that's what it takes. Okay. So it doesn't take so much or it, too much time? It doesn't take so much. Okay. It doesn't take so much. Fala Jimmy, thank you so much for thank coming. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Right. Okay. I have my look. Looking good is good business. And that's you know, what they say. Yes. Women take their time to take care of their hair and their nails. And this time now, men are not left out of the fray. Many salons are cashing in on this to make brisk business. Men's grooming over the years has evolved beyond shaving the head and trimming extra facial hair. The trend for facial hair is making many barber shops open up. The male grooming market is almost at par with grooming products for women. This boom is driven by a desire to look good and an obsession with social media. With the bed gang frenzy, men spend a lot of time having their beds done. At this salon, the air is rich with the scents of argan, tea tree, almond and eucalyptus oils. Jeffrey Okwalike is mixing up a fresh batch of the secret blend of essential oils that make up the best seller in his cosmetics line, Beard and Water. In Nigeria, what I know is that so many people need beard grooming products, especially oils or balms. Uh, a lot of Nigerian guys have beards that are quite like, you know, they call it rice and beans. You know, it has patches on the side and then, you know, you try to comb it and you're crying. You know, ah, ah, it's hard to comb. So they don't really know that there are products out there within Nigeria that they can use to solve their, you know, male hair conundrums. Actually, yeah, it's just like fashion also. It's just like fashion because sometimes people can use it to describe you that, ah, do you know that guy has a beer? And some ladies like it a lot, you know. Whenever they're around you, they'll be like playing with it, touching it. So they really like it. Okpaliki started growing a beard in 2012. In keeping with the global trend, he found that hair products were almost exclusively targeted at women. It's not just beards, manicures, pedicures, haircuts, skin lotions, glooms, and men's fashion are all experiencing a boom. We are quite open and ready for this this market. It's uh, it's a market that emerged out of nowhere. Within the past four or five years, it's 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 blown. The global male grooming product market is expected to reach 76 billion US dollars by 2023, from 58 billion dollars in 2017. Well, joining me now is CEO for Last Place Salon Services and for Last Place Logistics, for Laji Miyadebuiga. It's good to have you join me at this Morning, time. Morning, Bosse. All right, so what is it with facial hair? I mean, it's the trend now. What's going on? Well, it's fashionable. Okay. And makes you as a man to stand out. Mm. You get, so you get noticed. And in, in any gathering, people get to notice you, your dominance, your, that masculine thing about you stands out. So you command um, respect, sort of. Right, but there are some occupations that don't, don't exactly uh, support it, especially the full. Yeah, side in um, white collar, many white collar jobs do not support keeping beards. Okay. But if you're an entrepreneur, you are you are an artist, you're a professional um, entrepreneur, you are allowed to do whatever you want. So is that some kind of discrimination against those who are in the corporate world? I can't say. 
for them because I, okay. I don't work in the corporate world. All right. So let's talk about taking care of this facial hair and making it look good because some people have facial hair, but hey, you don't want to hang terrible, around them. Terrible. Yeah. So how how do we just take care of it and make sure that the men are clean? When you start with um, grooming, um, grooming in sense that like you go for a cut, get a particular shape you want. Depends on your face. Okay. Get a particular shape you want, and um, you texturize once every two three weeks. Can you do that yourself, or do you need to be in a salon? If you don't know how to do it, go to a professional salon. Get it. Let, let them watch them do it. Ask questions. After after that being done, you can go and buy the products. Then follow suit and you can read up online on this. And then your hair, uh, your beard oil is very important, important too. Then the wax that you use, and then your comb. Those are the key things. All right, so anyone can just choose to, if you don't have hair at all, can you grow? Well, some can, but some can't. Okay. So, but the thing is, is um, it's something that, uh, um, it bears something that is so masculine that when you look at a man, it looks strong, it looks older, it looks, that, that support system, you see that in him, and it's fashionable now. So, why not catching on the trend? All right, then, let's see how this trend and where this trend actually takes us. For Laji Madibuiga, it's good to have you. Thank you. Join us at this All time. Right. <laughs> so, Mike. It, it, it looks like you are the alpha male, mm. you know, with all the beards. You are here, and the show starts. <laughs> All right, let's remind you that we're streaming live on YouTube and you can connect with us on Twitter using the hashtag TVC Breakfast. Still ahead on the show.